Okay, let's see if this works. Um, I'm going to solve some problems from the book on page 231. And this is section 3.6. Okay. So number nine is uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. So this is a circle actually. So what we're going to do is we are going to find dy dx. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the derivative just like we normally would for everything. Okay. So this is going to become um, 2x plus 2y is equal to 0. Well, we are taking the derivative with respect to x. So we're going to go back and rewrite this and say 2x plus 2y. Now, y is an actual function. Okay, so we are going to take the derivative of the outside. Then we're going to take the derivative of the inside. We've actually already taken the derivative of the outside when we do this. Now we're going to take the derivative of the inside, which is y. We don't get to go deep into y and find out what is the inside of y. We're just going to say dy dx is the derivative of y with respect to x. And we're going to multiply it. So this is the outside times dy dx is equal to zero. So this is what it means to do this implicitly, okay? But we have to find what is dy dx, so we have to isolate what dy dx is. Or we have to isolate it by itself. So I'm going to subtract here. So 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2x. I'm going to divide by the 2y and I find let me come over here that dy dx is equal to negative 2x over 2y which is equal to negative x over y and that's my answer now, if I had a point, I would plug that in, and then that would be the slope for my tangent line for this curve or for this circle. We'll do that in just a minute. Okay, let's try this problem. This is number 10 in your book. So, we're going to differentiate everything, first of all. So 2 times 2 is going to be 4. We reduce the 2 by 1. I'm going to say plus 2y. So that's taking the derivative of the outside. Now I'm just going to say dy dx is the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 16 is 0. And just like number 9, we're just going to move things over to the other side and divide by 2y. So let me do that real quick. Okay. So dy dx is equal to negative 4x divided by 2y, which is equal to, we're going to simplify and make this negative 2x over y. And that is what dy dx is equal to. Text me questions if you have any.
practice these problems so let me do another one for you so our next problem is we're going to find an equation of the tangent line to the graph of the function at the indicated point this will give us a real equation that is of a line that's going to be touching our curve or looks like our ellipse at one point and it's going to be that point okay so we're going to find this equation so we're going to use implicit differentiation we're going to say 8x plus 18y times dy dx is equal to zero okay so i'm going to subtract the 8x this is going to be 18y times dy dx is equal to negative 8x i'm going to divide by the 18y and i get that dy dx is equal to let's let's reduce this while we have the opportunity um negative 4x over 9y okay so that's what this is so we're going to plug in these points and let's say plug in points so i'm gonna plug in the zero for the x this is gonna be negative four times zero and nine times two and i get that this is zero over 18 so this is going to be zero so my slope in this problem is equal to zero so i'm going to say y equals mx plus b slope of line and we're going to say we're going to plug in everything we know we're going to plug in zero for x two for y and zero for our slope and we're going to find what b is actually so we're going to say two is equal to zero times zero plus b so b must be equal to 2. so our y-intercept is equal to 2. since our y-intercept is equal to 2 and our slope is equal to 0 this is going to be y equals to 0x plus b that's going to be equal to 0 or b is actually 2 we just found that right there so therefore y is equal to 2 and that's the equation of my tangent line to our ellipse i hope these problems are helping you please send me questions if you have any